So this right here is the Volvo XC60. And I know what you're thinking, okay? This car has been around for a while now, about six years. 2017, it debuted. This is the T8 Ultimate. And I think this car has not aged or aged very, very gracefully. And this T8 Ultimate costs 356,000 ringgit. And you know, Ultimate means, you know, the highest. This is the range shopping version. And possibly the final form of this generation XC60. So some refreshers, okay? This car is the, well, middle ground of the Volvo SUV lineup, right? Between the XC40 and the larger XC90. But this is built on the SPA platform, the same as the XC90. And the best competitor to this car is the BMW X3, the X3 xDrive 30e M Sport. Let me tell you why this car, this Volvo, I think is the better buy. They facelifted it more than I can count, and it, it's really refined, guys, okay? That's why I call it the ultimate, maybe? At the front over here, you have these uh, black accents, which is very kind of like a BMW, and against this bright dusk paint color, it looks really, really nice. Maybe if you get a darker color, this contrast won't show up that much, but I think it is a really good balance between the sometimes two extra art design package and the standard versions. The wheels themselves, diamond cut 19 inch, five double spoke wheels, which I think 19s on a top range Volvo, I think is a bit small, maybe a bit undersized. 20s would be perfect, but this don't look bad at all. Onto the side, this profile is classic Volvo. And I love this, again, bright dust color. It's kind of gold, champagne, sand. The black accents against it really bring out the shades. And at the back, we have this classic rear end design over here. Not much has changed. Of course, you have the black accents again. It says T8 all-wheel drive recharge. It should say ultimate back here. That's such a cool name to have. It's a shame to not have it actually be somewhere people can see. Anyway, over here, the vertical design, uh, tail lights, classic Volvo. I can't really fault it. It looks good. This whole car looks good. So it has a petrol component, right? An engine, basically. A battery system and a electric motor. So combined, okay, they produce 468 horsepower and 709 newton meters of torque. That's more than a lot of sports cars. Like you remember, if you grew up in the 90s, 90s kid, all the V12 Diablos and Ferraris and a lot of those cars didn't produce as much power, raw power and torque as this thing, a family SUV. So yeah, as of the front, like I said, along the spine of the car, running down the spine literally, is an 18.8 kilowatt hour lithium ion battery. And that feeds a rear mounted electric motor. So that means if you go on the e-drive mode, you're actually a rear wheel drive. You're driving a rear wheel drive Volvo. That's pretty cool. This thing can accelerate to 100 miles per hour from a standstill in just 4.8 seconds. Cars.my is Malaysia's largest car buying and selling platform. New, used, recon, there are thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands of car listings so you can find the perfect one. Visit our website or download the Carlist app from the App Store or Google Play today. Welcome to the interior of the Volvo XC60. Over here, of course, like the exterior of the car, it's not really unfamiliar. In fact, this is very familiar for the uh, kind of like layout. This is pretty much standard Volvo. Of course, you have this big 12-inch portrait infotainment screen and a 9-inch screen for the driver right here. It is... I wish they had put more colors into it, although I appreciate over here you have this sort of like aluminium mesh pattern going on and tends to add some class to it. You have this crystal, uh, single piece crystal Aura 4 Sweden gear selector down here. It is quite sturdy over here. You have a lot of cubbies. You have two cup holders, a big cubby over here, another one over here and a huge glove compartment you can put your laptop in here and a tablet and your phone for good measure there you go my phone goes in there taking a phone wireless phone charger right here where you want it perfect and the good thing about this whole infotainment system thing is that you have literally google usually you have other infotainment systems that are also kind of like skin versions of google but volvo doesn't even play around but even hide it it is literally powered by google and that you have things like google maps and it's just easy to use downside is that everything is on a screen those kinds of things like the air conditioning should be down here instead you have to like tap on the screen and like 
fiddle with the little buttons and aim your finger when you're driving, not ideal. It overall feels expensive in here. In fact, it feels even more expensive when you bathe in light because you have a panoramic sunroof on top. And then it really exposes, you know, the nuance of color in here. You have the seats, which are very sculpted, even more sculpted than I thought it would be because this is not an R line and Volvo isn't really known for their sports cars. The seats are quite sculpted. They're kind of like buckets, a little bit semi-bucket, a mixture of Napa and leatherette and sort of this textile material. It's nice. Downside, these headrests don't go anywhere. So if you want it to be a bit further up, further down, whatever, out of luck. And of course, the way they mold the door for Volvo is classic, really simple, and appreciate it the more you look at it really, because you have metal over here, metal over here, and everything else is plastic-ish, but it's soft touch, so it feels pretty good. Okay, even little recesses down here are padded, very nice. And the way they mold it, they have a full length door pocket. So you put a big bottle down here and something long, like even your, you know, your car's user manual thing can put it down here. Your service manual, put it down here. Or something like this, yeah, it fits easily. So Volvo always has the booster seats built in over here for kids, very good for that. But unfortunately, the windows don't go all the way down. What is up with that actually? Because this car is an SUV, it's pretty tall, this way length, right? And yet they can't fit the full window. Weird. All right, left in the back seats, pretty good. Comfortable. The seats have a little bit of sculpt to them, like the fronts, okay? And from where I'm sitting, because this is where I usually just put my seat, I have extra knee room over here. Headroom, pretty good, right? Panoramic sunroof. Look over here, okay? As a, as a rear passenger, I can actually lock the door. I don't have to like reach in the front to lock it. Really good touch. Air conditioning vents where you want them up here on the B pillar instead of down here. Instead, down here you get two USB-Cs and for the uh, front passengers in the front cubby, you get two USB-Cs down there as well. The only downside really is this big hump in the center. Like I said, the spine of the car is being used to house the batteries, so literally down the middle. So if you are sitting in the middle, you have to like share space with the people next to you or like do this. And you have 470 liters of space, okay? Which actually is pretty good for the fact that it's a hybrid. So all the batteries should live down here. And in case you're wondering, yes, it does live down here, all the cables as well. No spare tire, of course. But 470 liters, a lot of room. So to fold down the seats, remove the parcel shelf, like so. And fold it down. Pull it down to reveal 1,400 liters of space. Yeah, it's fast. Is it 4.8 seconds is 200 fast? Uh, don't know. But who cares, right? It's, it's fast. You will leave the majority of other cars in the dust. Inside the XC60, it really is in the word, tasteful. Because even though I'm very used to this whole layout and everything, it is, you can, you can tell, okay, Volvo is, is restrained. They know what looks good and works in terms of an ergonomic layout, but they're not going to be so overt as to kind of like shout about how high tech they are and how different and outlandish and and you know, like, look at me features. No, everything in here is very sensible and very tastefully laid out. It's, it's stylish where it needs to be and sort of simple and straightforward where it needs to be as well. Well, the thing you must understand about driving the XC60 is that it's a very Volvo experience. What I mean by that is that it's, it's not sporty. The car looks mildly aggressive from the outside, but it's not sporty at all, right? But Volvo can make a sporty car if they feel like it. The thing is, this one doesn't feel soggy, doesn't feel sporty, but it is sort of firm. Even though I have like thick tires, you know, 19 inch wheels aren't that big. 
when you put them on a big size SUV like this one. But the upshot of having an undersized-ish wheel and tire combo is that you have more sidewall. The sidewall actually gives you more ride comfort, or at least that's the idea. Because this rides on Pirelli P0 tires, not Cinturato or not the Touring tire version. So P0, sportier, maybe that's why it's a little bit more busy. This is not a soggy, you know, Volvo that just soaks up the bumps. No, this is a little bit more, hmm, firm. For the sake of being firm, you can tell a car has been not so well developed when it doesn't feel cohesive. This car now, with most Volvos now, you feel that it's a very considered package. They landed on this exact combination of performance and luxury and comfort and there's a, there's a balance that is very deliberate and you can feel that in this car. From everything to do with the interior trim to the finishing materials to how this car presents itself to how this car rides to how this car sounds and feels and handles you can tell right away that this is a very considered Volvo. It kind of wraps up that Jekyll and Hyde twin personalities in a very Volvo, very Swedish and understated package. This XC60 T8 Ultimate is really fast. It, it really is the new everything SUV. I don't like SUVs, but I gotta admit, this, this thing is like a do everything SUV. Really good. Really impressed. <laughs> yeah.